What is up guys? So today we're gonna be heading to the shop to work on the uh, the 240 a little bit. I have to tighten up the bumper, tighten up the fenders. Uh, I have to buy a horn from AutoZone. I, AutoZone, I gotta wire that in. And uh, basically just do all the little miscellaneous things that the dude said to do when I went to go get it inspected yesterday so I can go get it inspected and have it pass because he seems pretty lenient. So definitely come along and enjoy the day. I'm gonna start off by quickly doing my laundry. Dylan's here making a bagel, making and some coffee. coffee. You know. The coffee life. He's gotta wake he's gotta wake himself up, so I'm gonna quickly get all my clothes situated and uh, we can start the day. Brandon. What? <laughs> what do you want? Rolling out to the shop now. Donovan showed up. Just picked up his S14. Thing is fucking so mean. Look at this lineup. Oh my god. So we about to be rolling out deep on the highway. We got the S14, we got the S13, we got the Genesis. I'm gonna go ahead and slap the camera in Orion's Genesis just for the fact I don't have an interior, so. Making a quick stop here at Advanced Auto to grab a power steering belt and some spark plugs. The spark plugs are decently foul, so I'm gonna grab that. And it kind of sucks not having power steering, so I'm gonna grab that as well. Got some spark plugs, a step colder, got a power steering belt, and we also got a horn to wire up. Going to quickly pull the Miata out so we can. Put oh my God, we didn't finish the tacos. Yeah, he's too left. <laughs> he's eating a taco from yesterday, but anyway, we're gonna pull the Miata out so we can pull the SR and start working on that, and then uh, hopefully get this car ready for inspection. I feel like I said that so many fucking times to get this car ready for inspection because we tried so many times, so let's continue trying to. Donovan is taking off to work. We will see him tonight. I think it's so sexy, so. That's, That's so, Mark Ruger right there. so fucking Ear piercing, dude. What's so like right now, have to straddle the where? Tank. Oh, okay, it's in Dylan's hand. Yeah, I'll straddle it. So right now we're gonna head to Hokan Gas. We found our secondary cap that we lost last time. I'm gonna have to fucking cradle this in my lap. If you get in, I'll, I'll put it in your lap. All right. Always a good time coming here at Hokan and looking at all the tanks and the welders and the plasma cutters and all that. Definitely thinking about upgrading to either the 244 cubic inch or the 300 cubic, fit, uh, cubic inch. Not right now, but definitely in the future because we feel like we run out of gas way too fast. So we're just gonna look around, look at the uh, the mini tigs, and uh, refill our gas. Swapping the the clip for the seatbelt. Got the seatbelt basically bolted in. Thank God that uh, seat that Ryan's sitting on right now had a uh, a buckle on it because, where is it, wherever it is, the Miata one that's sitting right there did not compensate for this right here. And I was gonna take out of my S13, but thankfully they had one right there, so I'm gonna quickly go under that and bolt it in there. Then we have the driver's side done. Got that buckle installed. I know I had a big washer on the inside, so I took that big washer and put it on the back side so it distributes the weight evenly, and like the bolt won't pop through the hole and blah, blah. So that's good, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten all these bolts, put the seat back in, and then uh, give it a quick test. All right, so we got the seat back installed, all the bolts are tightened down. Okay. And the nice part is, it's a nice functional seat belt. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna take Oh, the, your battery's blinking. Is it? Yeah. Fuck, it's always blinking. I'm gonna take the passenger seat out of the S13. Yes, I know 
I'm gonna hear a whole bunch of shit about taking parts from that car, but this is the only part I'm taking is the S13 passenger seat and Jimmy knows a dude that literally can get any S13 or any S chassis part you need So if I do need another passenger seat, I can just put it or get it from him and put it in that Not so. even just put the put the old one back. Yeah, That's exactly. You get the new seats. So we're gonna do that And then we'll have two functioning seats with two functioning seat belts. Interior is looking really really good I got the carpets from my 240 as well right there I'm gonna see if Jimmy can get me a pair So I don't have to take the ones from the 240, but I'm going to for now Seat belts are in, that seat is in, that seat belt's in, the seat belt, goes, seat belt buckles in over here, wherever the hell it is. So everything's looking really, really good in the interior. Right now, I'm going to pop the coil packs out and the, uh, the spark plugs, change them, see if I have to gap it. If I do, I'm going to have to run to Advanced Auto, grab a spark plug uh, gapper, and then do that. So bang that out really quick, and then we can start on the horn. Old. And new. I kind of jimmy rigged this little bracket here. Basically, I'm utilizing this hole right here, and it's basically just gonna slip like that. I have to kind of like bend this up. This is too much of an angle, but you see the uh, the general idea right there. And it's just gonna sit like that, bolt through there, bolt through there, but it's gonna be held up like that. So there's gonna be no flex because when you do hit bumps and stuff, obviously these uh, these zip ties kind of flex and bend a little bit. <laughs> Bumper bracket done. Got the fender all nice and mounted with an actual bolt, so that's so goddamn sturdy. Now I am working on getting the horn wired. Basically, this is the ground, and the ground goes to the bolt right there. I'm gonna utilize whatever this was right here. I ground it down, it's gonna bolt right there. And here is the positive wire that's gonna go on the opposite side, just like that. That's gonna go through that drum and the firewall into the engine bay or into the uh, interior. Hook it up to a switch and we will have a, a horn. 15 bucks, doesn't look too bad. All right, got the uh, the horn all wired up. In the fuse block, literally used the last slot. There is a fuse in it and the horn is nicely mounted right here. So we're gonna give it a try. You wanna, uh, here's the key. Ready? You wanna try, is it gonna go without the key? Yeah. Oh my oh, God, that's so loud. That's, Dude, you could just leave it on, look. That's, that's so loud, dude. Oh my god, you know how you used to fucking Yeah. You know you turn it off? That's so loud. Coming along very nicely with the simulator. We got the shifter fully mounted, pedals fully mounted, and the good thing is it's fully, fully adjustable. Right now we are just making the mount for the wheel. Basically, we're coming up from right there, just like that, and it's gonna come over. The wheel's gonna mount right there. Kinda kinda sounded confusing by me describing it, but as soon as we actually have everything cut out and mocked up, it's gonna all come together. So we got a 19-inch piece right here. We're about to cut it with a diamond cutting wheel. Sadly, the chop saw kind of shit the bed. I think the bearing or whatever shot in there because like the blade wiggles like this and you can't get a straight cut, so I'm going to cut that right yeah. there. Our Logitech gaming. There she fire. is. There's the uh, the full complete simulator. This is what is this V3? Because we made one. No, made us that's no, V1 four. was on a desk. Yup, this is V4, yup. This is V4. Dylan definitely did a good job coming up with the idea. It's all right having, there. It's all yep, up look there. At, literally all right there. Coming up with the idea to make the seat unboltable from the actual G27 system. Oh, can I take this is unboltable, there? that's unboltable, oh, that's man. unboltable. So take it's it coming out really, really net. He's literally going to take the seat off right now. So they're going to take the shifter off, the wheel off, and the pedals off, put, them in the, put those in the Genesis, and I'm going to take the rest of it, put it in the back of the 240, and uh, transport it back to the house, download a set of course on Dylan's laptop, and you will fucking hand them, bro. You ready to hand them? Oh, 100%, dude. We're going to rip it tonight. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue your door. Everything is packed up. As Orion stated, when you have a gutted 240 hatch, it's literally a fucking pickup truck. We got the frame right there, and we got the seat right there. I just got to remember not to mat it, because this right here, We'll go right through my fucking window and I will literally cry, so. Just met up with Donovan. About to go upstairs, rip some G27, rip some hookah. And frame. Hey, I swear to guys, like, dude, I'll take them both. No. Got that brand new G27. This one has a modified brake, mm -hmm. so it feels a lot more realistic. The, uh, the stock G27 definitely has a, a nice hard brake pedal, but you can do a mod to make it harder. And the guy that we got it off did that mod, so this will be the first time feeling it. progressive. The top of the brake is soft, and the bottom of the spring is hard as shit. Yeah. 
It still smells like maple syrup in here. And setting up the simulator now. What's we kind of cleared this area right here. We had vacuums and shit right here, so we had a simulator kind of tucked up against the wall. No crate with a TV screen. Oh, yeah. This is fucking legit, dude. We're about to run some yeah. disgusting tan. Yeah. Yeah. That about wraps up tonight's vlog, guys. If you guys enjoyed, definitely go into the comment section. Leave some feedback. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a like if you didn't like it. And I will catch you guys tomorrow.